I hope you can see the steepness of this because this is where I'm going. And that way, way down there is where I came from. Apparently we have to climb the gorge out of it all at once. We couldn't have done it like a little here, a little there. It's just like, no, you're going to do it all now. Then you're going to thank me for it. Although I'm getting my legs under me. Feeling good. I'm winded, but my legs aren't burning too bad. Well, that's good. I think we made it to the top. I think this is basically now the rest of this trail basically runs the ridge of the gorge we just came through. So from here on out, should be nice smooth sailing the next mile and a half or so. Very, very pretty. I've said that a few times, I'm sorry. I need to get more eloquent with my vocabulary in my videos. I got my breath. Let's go. So, I brought the camper this time, some glamping, you know, with the family, you know. I came up about four hours. I was, the plan was I was going to come up the day before, and the rest of them were going to come up the next day. But they got ambitious and came up that night, which was cool, because they gave us two full days to explore around here together before they had to go back for school. So that was awesome. But I came back up. I came up here on my own, pulling the trailer. Now, like I said, I've never been here before. This I've tried three times now. Tried to come here, and uh, every time, like we, the first time we booked it, we booked a cabin. We were gonna come here, and then the pandemic hit. Um, next year, I think something happened, and we our reservation got canceled again. And then we gave up the year after that. And then this year we're finally like, okay, so three times. This is the third time. So we finally came here. And me being a dumbass, I should know Hawking Hills would be hilly. But I guess I wasn't prepared when I got off the freeway to like come into the campground. Like I got a 30 foot camper behind me pulling it. And it's just like 90 degree hairpin S turns and stuff. And a little white knuckle ride i won't lie i mean i've driven old man okay wait, hang on we're at rr so the lodge old man's cave parking lot that way is there sign we want to go that way what's that way this trail what's down here or is this just an outlook overlook it might be an overlook sorry if came to a fork in the road let's see what this little outlook is Oh, this is cool. We're like in the treetop, kind of. Just a little outlook. That's cool, huh? Cool. I'll sit here and finish my story because I don't think anyone else is coming. Give you better lighting. Nope. There. 
Now you can kind of see the background and me. So anyway, I'm like doing all these S turns and stuff and I wasn't, I, I was fine. Like I said, I, I, I used to drive a truck years ago, like semi years ago. Um, so it's fine, but I just, for some reason mentally was shocked that the Hawking Hills were so hilly. I'm Captain Obvious. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but. No one would make that connection. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it was cool though. And then like weave for like, I don't know, six, seven miles. Finally got to my campground road and, uh, it's like, just, I felt like I was driving straight up. Rhonda was like, she was chugging. I'm a steeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So Rhonda was chugging, pulling this thing up the hill and the hill, the road was paved but it looks like it was paved in like the 50s because it was just full travel on suspension. All I could think of was like all the shit in the back of my truck or trailer just bouncing all over the place. And there's people coming, so. All right, we'll back on the trail. Anyway, it was cool. Okay, slight word of advice from somebody who has hiked a lot. I'm by no means, I would say a professional, but I hike a lot of trails. If you come here, and like I said before, the trail to um, Whispering Cave, I would say is advanced. It's basically everything an advanced trail would have. It's steep, there's a lot of rocky, uneven terrain. There's a lot of spots that if you slip, you're gonna fall thousands of feet to your horrible mangled death. So, advanced. I get it's a tourist spot and you wanna come with your family and you're on vacation, but please do not attempt, and there are people doing it, I, the reason why I'm saying this, do not attempt to come here and hike this trail in flip-flops like the real cheap shitty ones you know like that you got like a gas station that are just like a chunk of rubber that the thing I've seen so many people hiking this trail in flip-flops and it's like there's no way to get you out of here easily like at all like so if you fall because you don't have you know, proper gear on to hike a trail like this and you slip and fall down and you break a leg. A, nobody's coming for you. B, you've got, if you're with someone else, they now have to hike two miles through a hard trail to even get to somebody that can help you that will then have to hike two miles back in to get you, climb down, get gear, repel you out because I don't even think you could airlift you out of here in most cases because of the trees. They'd never find you. So just like be smart and wear hiking shoes. I mean at the most trail runners something with some kind of grip. Don't wear flip-flops. You know? I'm going to do a video on my shoes in the future. I'm not sponsored by them in any way or anything, but I'm a big advocate for barefoot shoes. If you don't know what that is, subscribe down below so that you, when that video does come out, you don't miss it. But I wear barefoot shoes, which are essentially, the, the short of it is 
they're really wide where your toes are so your toes can kind of like sp splay naturally as you walk and it gives you better balance points and stuff and there's no arch support there's nothing it's just flat you most of them are very very thin sole rubber if you know barely anything so it's imagine like a flip-flop but cut into like i don't know three millimeters thick so you feel every rock every stick every unevenness of the terrain your foot feels and it eventually i'm not gonna lie the first few months of it suck because your feet hurt Ooh, there's a little off trail here let's go see where that goes um but well maybe not that's just like you're gonna die going down there let's not do that okay so anyway where's i saying yeah so anyway it's i wear these barefoot shoes but this company i buy them from there's many different companies the company i buy them from is um they specialize in barefoot hike like off-road running so their shoes are made for off trail or on trail running and off terrain you know rough terrain and stuff handling so the soles are super grippy even though they're thin your feet balance it's it's much easier Ooh, we got a road crossing it's much easier to get grip and now this road was crazy so this trail was crazy cross the road where i don't die anyway um this trail was a bit aggressive right i've slipped once and that was my own fault not looking at where i was going i was going downhill on a downward grade and i placed my foot the wrong way but these shoes are like velcro on the trail so they're super grippy anyway that's it oh. all right coming up on our second road crossing that was nice so like between the road crossing and this one it kind of crosses the street road crossing and uh it was a nice little hike through the woods just trees and quiet and it was nice i didn't film much of it because i was just enjoying it but cross over and keep doing our thing that's it though all right well i'm on the road hiking at asphalt uh paved trail here next to the road and i recognize it when i pulled in so this is probably the parking lot's right around the corner that'll be the end of this video if you like this type of content subscribe down below give me a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one